Thank you. I didn't have any nice slacks, so I just kind of wore the best jeans I have. It looks like you're ironing your shirt, though. Gotta try it, you know. Oh, I see. We could. Alrighty. Morning, folks. Um, just like to open with a question. How many of you would consider yourself an adrenaline junkie? Uh, you people. <laughs> Cool. Well, I've been told by numerous people that I'm pretty stupid for what I do, but I kind of just reply by saying that it's fun, you know? Um, like the great Johnny Knoxville once said, I pretty much operate off of adrenaline and ignorance. So, uh, <laughs> my name is Diego Urea. And uh, today I'm just going to kind of explain a little bit about the Imperial Sand Dunes. I've been going to the dunes for about nine years now, and I keep going back just because it's a lot of fun, a lot of adrenaline, blast. Um, today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the type of terrain that you're going to encounter at the dunes. Also, kind of like what it's like to actually ride the dunes. And some of the other things you're going to experience when you're out there, like camping, hanging out with family, that sort of deal. Um, how many of you have traveled to San Diego on the I-8? Just about almost everybody in here, so you've seen them. You've all seen them. Awesome. It really only takes one trip to the dunes to pretty much get you hooked on that unique terrain. Um, so there's the terrain out there, it's basically giant, giant mountains of powder fine sand that's blown into these huge dunes. Now according to GlamisOnline.com, the tallest dune out there is about 200 feet from the base, which is like 20 stories, so they're pretty, pretty high, a lot of fun. Um, and it's because of that unique terrain, that's why the riding's so much fun, because you really can't get that anywhere else in the world other than Dubai. Riding out there, it's awesome. Now, how many of you have been to Six Flags Magic Mountain? So, a few of you. Have any of you guys ridden Goliath, the roller coaster? It's almost exactly like riding Goliath, except for you're controlling it. Basically, you know, riding up to the top of a huge dune, it's like that long ascent you got going up there, and then it drops. Same thing, coming right back down, you got that sharp right hand corner. Again, same deal, only you're controlling it, which is a lot of fun because uh, you kind of get to choose how fast you go and uh, where you go also. So that's always fun. Now, riding is the main reason, again, why everybody goes out there. However, everyone likes to go out there and camp because the nearest hotels to there are back in, well, if you're going to Gordon Wells, which is the one that you'll see off of the I-8, nearest hotel's back in Yuma, which nobody wants to drive back to a hotel after they ride. Come on, that's no fun. So everyone just likes to camp out. Now, as you can see, some of the conditions, camping conditions out there are a little bit uh, not nice. Um, this is my buddy Doug, who wound up sleeping on the sand because it was a lot more comfortable than sleeping on the trailer. Um, he actually woke up at about 2 o'clock in the morning grilled from the expanded metal that the trailer is. But um, anyways, the other picture there is just a picture of me and some buddies of ours stopped at the top of a really big dune just to kind of hang out, which that's really what the dunes are all about. Hanging out with good friends, having a fun time, just uh, catching up with people, which is really nice to do. So, you know, hanging out with people is a lot of fun. That's what's going to get you coming back. The riding's amazing. Um, if any of you are interested in possibly trying something different for your next vacation, I would definitely give some thoughts going to the Imperial Sand Dunes.